Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to recommend some waterproof inks that are safe to use in fountain pens. This video is a follow-up to the earlier video where I talked about how you shouldn't use India inks in fountain pens. So I have already written something on this piece of paper with all the inks and I'm going to apply water onto what I've written to let you see how waterproof these inks are. So this is Sketch Ink and this is waterproof. Next we have Sailor Kiwaguro. Alright, this ink is a bit strange. I say it's a bit strange because when I first bought the ink, it's actually waterproof but after several months, uh, it seems like it has lost its waterproof qualities and I went online to search and there were people who uh, talked about this same problem as well. So this is something to take note of. The Artramentis document. So this is waterproof. Noodleless Bulletproof Lexington Grey. So this is the one that I have in my brush pen. That's waterproof as well. Noodleless Bulletproof Black. So notice this is not totally waterproof on this paper. On some other paper, it's waterproof, but not on this particular paper, which is the Dela Rowney Aqua Fine watercolor paper, by the way. This is the Artramentis Archive. So this is waterproof. And lastly, we have Platinum Carbon, which is also waterproof. So we have some surprises here. Sailor Kiwaguro, which is supposed to be waterproof. For some reason, now it's not. And Noodleless Bulletproof Black Ink is also not 100% waterproof. Out of these options here, the ink that dries the slowest is actually Noodleless Bulletproof Black Ink. But I've actually dried all of this uh, with ample amount of time. So even after drying them, you can still see these two, they are not waterproof. And here's my overall recommendation. If you want a black ink that's very black, the darker you can find, I recommend the Artramentis Archive and Platinum Carbon. If you want colored waterproof inks, I recommend the Artramentis Document and Sketch Ink. These are available in different colors. And if you want something that you can use in your brush pens, um, I recommend Lexington Grey. This is great for tonal studies. For black, I will recommend the Artramentis because um, I've used this for a while and I don't see physical particles around the bottle opening. So this will be safer to use in a brush pen compared to the Platinum Carbon ink. By the way, if you have any recommendations for waterproof inks that are not featured here, let me know in the comment section. And if you are interested to get any of these inks here, you can get them through the Amazon affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below. You can also check out more reviews on Amazon. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you in the next one. Bye! Oh, you are still here? Let me give you a quick tip on how you can mix your inks more thoroughly. So you can actually drop stainless steel ball bearings into the bottle and those will help move the ink around easily.